Ali Huda. Please welcome Ali Huda to the stage. Let's give him some good energy. Hello, again. Um, so let's start. My name is Maruf, and I'm a father of these three little monkeys. When you live in uh, a Muslim minority country like I do, Denmark, you really worry about your kids, what they learn. You know, you want to give them the best things. For millions of Muslims around the world, that's the way it's called, we call it Islam. So to teach the real life lessons of Islam, like mercy, kindness, and caring for humanity, uh, we, leak, we lack a really safe and secure environment. That's why we thought, what if they create a platform where it's safe for kids to watch and learn at the same time Islam the fun way and all the good values you see around the world. So the world would be a much more better place. That's what we believe in and that's why we're creating Ali Huda. Ali Huda looks like this today. We launched in 2017 on website. We also launched on different platforms, TVs and mobile apps, of course. And more than 75 uh, publishers, they joined us exclusively to produce their content for Ali Huda. And as of now, we have th more than thousands of shows, and by the end of 2019, inshallah, we're going to have more than 1,000 hours of entertainment. <coughs> Ali Huda is very simple. It works like a Netflix. Parents pay monthly fees, and kids get to watch unlimited videos. Um, there are half a million Muslim kids, and we are targeting at this point like 10% of them, which is 50 million. And, uh, we have tried different types of acquisitions, and the best works for us is advertising, or we pay around $15. In terms of competitors, when it comes to safety and Islamic content, we, um, we are number one comparing to other guys. So this is our team. We have many years of experience. Most importantly, most of our parents, we are making for our kids and for your kids as well. So we've been growing, uh, uh, we've been growing for the last years. As you can see, we have more than 5,000 uh, 5, uh, paying customers. We have more than a quarter million in revenue, and we're growing. In this round, we are seeking 2.5, and, and so we can grow, and also license more, even more shows. Um, this is uh, what Ali Huda is about, and uh, I hope you liked it. If you like, would like more, you can contact me, and we can take the discussion to the next level. Thank you very much. Awesome, we have three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Who would like to ask a question? You're on, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, sure. Um, what is the average length of subscription for your subscribers? So that's uh, what you're asking is the retention rate and lifetime value. So, well, you know, remember we are not a very old company. We are being more than a year, a little bit. So it is, as we, as we uh, measure, it's about um, lifetime value of customer is $80 as of now. So it means uh, if on average customers they stay with us around a year. Right. Around a year. Yeah. So like retention rate, I would say month over month, like 90%. Well, on the, I have a question about your content. Sure. Is the, is the content original content or is it licensed? That's a good question. So when we started, we started licensing content because it's easier and faster. Uh, cheaper, of course, but now we are. S I've been being in the market for a year. We can see there's a gap in the in the market, and for those, we are. Uh, we already have the scripts. We are trying to some pilots, and we want to do some original content there. That's why one of some of the parts of the funding will be used for the original content. And are you? Do you have plans to actually license your content to other platforms? Um, that's a good question. It could be an option if it's a TV, but not to a direct competitor. So we wouldn't be doing to Netflix, for example. But if some other TV channels, there's something we can consider. Thank you. Good job. You're welcome. Uh, can you elaborate on your customer acquisition strategy and, 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 and the cost as well involved? Sure. In uh, so we tried different, uh, we tried influencers, we tried also content marketing. But so far, what's working for us is that social media ads and uh, especially Facebook and Instagram. So because we have emotional like videos and we touch the parents, and average cost acquisition customer like um, CAG is $15, $15, one five. Okay, and also just on the content. So I know you're targeting um, sort of Islam, Islamic sort of content, um, uh, but is, is, it, is it religious or is it, um, is it just safe uh, without ads and it can be brought into the wider global market? Yeah, so that's a good question. So um, not our content are directly religious. So we call it ethical and family friendly. And that's why we can easily go ahead and license a lot of code, which is safe. 
At the same time, there are some shows that are religious, but even them, we're trying to, instead of preaching, we're trying, trying storytelling and, you know, inspiring people and then especially kids. So it's both, I would say. Good. Thank you. What percentage of your revenue goes to content licensing and maybe in the future content production, would you say? Um, so for example, uh, from the funds, if you're going to raise uh, almost half of it, we want to put into content because we know the content is the king uh, in, in, in what we do, especially the original content. And um, even in the, about the content, what we are thinking is like 80% will be licensing probably, but the 20% will go to original content. It's, Content uh, acquisition. But I guess I guess my question is about uh, like in an ongoing way uh, about how many like what percentage of each dollar of revenue you make oh. will go out to license or content production. Okay, okay. Uh, I think does that uh, make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it will be at least uh, thirty, forty percent. I see. Yeah.